Yes, sir. Fantastic Freaky Funny Football Friday. Once again, Stewies, be careful on them, uh, them highways. And I don't even know how big this, this storm is, is it's gonna, if it's going to hit the whole East Coast or, or just, um, you know, the Southeast. I'm not sure. i got to look at the, the radar. But uh, if you're on ATL, go home now. <laughs> as soon as I leave here, I'm headed straight to the crib, and I am done. I'm not going anywhere. Do I even have anything to do this weekend? I don't think I have anything to do this weekend. You know, last week we had like 50, 11 people staying at our house for the holidays. Um, and so, you know, you know how that is. Uh, I'm not, I don't have a problem or anything. I love my my family, my in-laws and whatnot. We were watching nephews and nieces at my house as well. So, real hectic. You know, this weekend I was taking them to movies and whatnot. Oh, speaking of which. So Ryan hit me, uh, oh, I saw Ryan last night, my brother, and he's going out of town next week, and he asked me if I would be available to take his boys, my nephews, they call me Yu-Yu for Ultimate Uncle, he asked me would I be available while he's out of town to take the boys, the nephews, to see the Monster Truck Series next Saturday. (laughs) I said, what? Yeah, 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 I'll take them. I'll take him. Yes. You know, he can't go. So the nephews, evidently, they requested me uh, personally. Can we get you you to take us to the Monster Truck Series since you'll be out of town, Daddy? And he asked me, and I said, well, you damn right I'll take him to the Monster Truck Series. Yes. And I'm going to have me a good time, too. So I'm looking forward to it. Yes. So next Saturday, I got Monster Truck Series with the nephews. That's going to be phenomenal. I think it's going to be at the Georgia Dome, I guess. That is going to be phenomenal. I'm looking more forward to that than they are. Uh, And then Sunday next week, uh, Baby Girl got his first track meet of the year already. First track meet of the year, indoor. So next week going to be a very busy weekend. This week, nothing at all. I'm going to watch football all day tomorrow, all day Sunday, or whenever the games come on, and I'm going to chill. That's it. And I'll probably finish up watching this hip-hop evolution. I saw y'all had, um, what do y'all call it, when y'all continue to talk in the chat room after the show was over, Leftover Stew. So Leftover Stew yesterday, y'all were talking about hip-hop evolution, the documentary on Netflix. I'm telling you, real good. You need to see it. If you're a greenhorn, if you're somebody like Grego and you don't respect old school and the art form and where it came from and where it's gone, you definitely, like, it's, it's can't miss TV. Like, you have to see it. Um, it, it it'll make you understand. it make you really understand why old school people like me talk about these damn rappers like Young Yahtzee and, and Fat Thug and all of these cats and talk about how, how distressful it is. So you need to see that, man. But, um... I'm going to chill this weekend. I'm going to watch a lot of TV, watch some movies. And I don't think I'm going to leave the house even, especially with this weather out there. I ain't trying to get in no damn accident or nothing like that. So I'm going to chill, man. I am going to chill. In the chat room with Spreaker.com. Let's see what we got in the chat room on Spreaker.com from Corporate Brother. He says in Pittsburgh, they have one that you pay for a cup. And then it is unlimited drinking all night. The talent ain't ATL, but after a few red cups of alcohol, they ain't half bad. Laugh out loud. Yeah, I understand that. How much does a damn cup cost, though? Like, a cup with unlimited alcohol that you buy in Atlanta would be $75. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. It, it would be $75 in Atlanta. You can't go into no strip club in Atlanta, uh, at least no black strip club. You know how they do us. Don't you hate that? You go into a black establishment, bar, lounge, strip club, and it's double the price from a white establishment. You go in any black strip club in Atlanta, man, they're charging $12 for a drink. $12. Right. Uh, so that your little cup, sir, that you, you talked about in Pittsburgh would be $75, $80 for sure down here. I hate that. 
from Loose Neck Swag Side. Enjoy the monster trucks, Doug. Just don't ask to climb in one. Not for short, short people, never mind. Really, bruh? Uh, hold on a second, man. Let me look for my damn uh, my magic pen to nominate people for ball penis. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Now you deserve to boo him, studio audience. On a Friday, he going to come with some bull like that. And write your name down, sir. Mr. Uh... Loose neck swat. You always got something smart to say. You an aspiring comedian or something. And your ass ain't even funny, man. Loose neck side. Nominated for ball penis for next week. You getting a head start on the competition, huh, bruh? Loose neck side. You are nominated for ball penis. For that smart ass remark. How about that? Um... From uh, Grego, he says, Governor Deal says, get your asses off the road by 4 p.m. Yeah, they're shutting down the schools at uh, 12 noon in my area. From uh, Sydney Stoney Jackson, that's because the asses in the white clubs are half the size of the asses in the black club. <laughs> We're paying a premium on our drinks because of the fatter asses. That's what you're saying? That's funny. Uh, from T-Dub, patronize your black establishments. I do. I mean, I, I don't really... I really don't like the cheetahs of the world. I, I'm not. I like natural, man. I don't like going up in there and and your your tatas, you know, punching me in my face and whatnot. Like like your your tatas a, a a punching bag, you know, all silicon. I don't like that. I like to see a little sag in my titties. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that. So I don't. I mean, I'm not opposed to going into white strip clubs, but I mean, I just that ain't. I mean, I'm not going to talk about it, whatever, man. I mean, uh, you see me in Magic City or, you know, the Blue Flame before you see me in the Cheetah or, or some of these other establishments around here, man. From uh, Sydney Stoney Jackson, white strippers be up here with, with batons and doing floor exercises like that. Now, I don't want to see all of the floor exercises. Just let me see your guts. <laughs> Let me see your spleen. Um, from Uncle Mike, 119 over 70 BPA. That was your blood pressure, my Uncle Mike? Man, praise God. And Uncle Mike is a big dude. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good, brother. That's good. We trying to be in the 120 over 80 club. That's what we'll call it, the 120 over 80 club. I mentioned to the studios a couple of days ago, man, I challenged them to go out and get their blood pressures checked, especially the black males. And, uh, yeah, let's call it that, the 120 over 80 club. That's optimal blood pressure, man. And Uncle Mike is a big dude from what I can tell on his pictures. I think he played defensive tackle for Prairie View or something like that. So especially you, man, big dudes like you, you know, you definitely got to stay on top of that type of stuff right there, man. From Clay Killer Ray Davis in the chat room on Spreaker.com. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. I need to see asses shaking in the strip club, not like a pancake ass. <laughs> right. Now, I will say one thing about our Caucasian sisters today in 2016. Like, like they have evolved. A lot, <laughs> a lot of them have evolved over the centuries to some nice round derrieres. You know, it ain't like 1970 um, asses. For some of our Caucasian sisters, like some of these chicks today, the Kim Kardashians of the world, um, man, some of their bookies, man, can run with just about any sister around here. Not really, but kind of. Way more than back in the day. I will say that. But for the most part, you go up in there, this is a different brand of, uh, this is a different brand of stripper. What the hell is it? It's time to get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here, man. Let's get the hell out of here, baby! It's the weekend! You want to raise the nation of thugs. But, uh, I think it's only right for me to raise the nation of bruh. Tell them, Gator! Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper. Yeah. Echo Love. Yeah. Four Founders. Four Founders. Blood and Thunder. Uh-huh. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know it make you wanna Hey, thank you for joining me today on the Doug Stewart Show Ernest Jess, Oscar 
Shouts out to my man Waterhand Walter, the producer to the show. Um, Pole Politicking, Brandon Butler, my man Paint Gator for this hot ass track. Shouts out to the Q's. And a special shout out to Dwayne Vassan, Gerald Oliveri, the engineers to the show. And uh, oh yeah, I mean I can't end the show and leave the studio without giving a special shout out to all of the stews, all of the stewies. All right, shouts out to all of the stewies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right, so once again, be careful on them streets. Take your time. You know. Holla at your young children just starting to drive to be careful and, you know, don't slam on the brake. Tap on the brake. Some ice patches around here. Be careful. We'll do it again on Monday. All right? We'll do it again on Monday. Same Doug Stewart time. Um, same Doug Stewart channel. Yeah. Uh, what, 9 a.m. Eastern time Monday? Uh, right here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. All right? So be back here Monday safe. All right? Be careful in them streets. Peace. You want to raise a nation of thugs. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of brugs. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know it make you wanna. Frank Cole, me. Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know it make you wanna. I'm always in the Q, but you ain't know. I'm resolute to the boot, she don't give me though. In that pack over there, that my dog team. Before I came out the womb, I had purple dreams. 